and wild. That's a high tone name for trouble. You pronounce it with a sigh. What causes all the misery in this land? If you want... Harriet! Harriet! My outer self! My trained self! Yes! I, I want to talk to you. Well? Oh, Harriet, you're beautiful today. Oh. Am I presentable, Hetty? Oh, it suits me. I tried to do the best with the good points. Oh, my passions run deeper than yours. I can't wear the mask as you do. I'm crude and real. You are my appearance to I the world. Am what you wish the world to believe you are. Well, you are the part of me that has been trained. Well, I am your educated self. No, I am the rushing river. You are the ice over the current. I am your subtle overtone. But together, we are one woman. Mm. The wife of Charles oh, Goodrich. There, I must disagree with you, Hetty. I alone am his wife. Harriet! How can you say such a thing? Well, certainly, I am the one that flatters him. I so, have to be the one to talk to him. If I gave you a chance, you would tell him at once that you dislike him. I don't love him, that's you certain. You leave all the fibbing to me. He doesn't suspect that my calm, suave manner hides your hatred. Considering <sighs> the amount of scheming it has cost me, it is plain to say that he is my husband. Well, if you love I, him... I, I haven't any feelings. It is not my business to love anybody. Then why need you object to calling him my I husband? I resent your appropriation of a man who is managed only through the cleverness of my artifice. Oh, you may be clever enough to deceive him, Harriet, but it is still my suffering. I cannot forget that I am married to Charles. I cannot forget that I might have been oh, married to John to Caldwell. John just because we met his wife by chance. Oh, well, that's, that's what I wanted to talk to you about. She, she may be here any moment. I want to tell you and advise you on what, what to say to her this afternoon. Be quick about it, but don't interrupt when she is here. You have what? the worst habit of talking to me when other people are present. It's oh. everything I can do to maintain my poise and oh. not appear to be listening to you. Impress her. Hey, dear, is it not my custom to impress people? I hate her. I cannot let her see I that. I hate her because she married oh, okay, John. You have refused him. Was it my fault That's I refused why him? Explain me. It was your fault. You you told me he was too poor and that that he would never do anything in painting. Look at him now. Known in Europe, just returned after eight he years in Paris. Too famous. Poor gamble at the time, it was much safer to accept Charles's wealth and uh, position. And then John married Margaret within a year. Out of spite, <laughs> freckled, gawking-looking thing she was too. Europe improved her. Uh, she looked stunning the other day. You make her jealous oh, today. Should I be haughty? Or, or, or cost Above all else, she must know that we are rich. Well, yes, I can do that quite well now. You put it on a bit. Oh, never fear. Uh, yeah, you tell her I love my husband. My husband? Are you going no, to quarrel I, with no, me? No, I have no desire to quarrel with you. It, it is far too uncomfortable for me. I couldn't get away from you, you if I tried. You stupid fool! For robbing me of John, I, I can Do never not forgive get you. Excited. Never. I in no position oh, to manage her. Choke you for making me refuse him. Do <sighs> not must. You do not I, know how what the suffering you have caused me. It is not my business to have heartaches. You are bloodless. You are nothing but a sham. You be quiet. A sham. I let her see me arguing with my inner self. And after all my suffering, you say it has cost you more than it has cost me to be married to Charles. But it is the pain in my heart. I paid the price. I paid. He is not your husband. He is. He isn't. He is. He isn't. I'll oh, no, kill don't, you. Don't. You're too strong. Oh. Stop. You no. say he's mine. He is. He's ours. Oh. 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 There she is. Oh. oh. 
I'm so excited. My heart is in my mouth. Oh, what a state you have put my nerves in. Oh, don't you let her see you are nervous. Oh, quick, be quiet. I can't, I cannot let her see you shining through me. You, you tell her... Uh, Charles is rich and, and fascinating. You know, boast of our friends. M make her feel oh, like I, she needs I'll us. Get her to ask John to paint our portrait. Oh yes, that's just what I thought. If John paints oh, our we portrait, we can wear an exquisite then, gown and, and make him fall in love. Oh, yes. oh, 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 oh Margaret oh. dear, it is. I'm just so glad to see you again. No, oh, that's a lie. It is enchanting to see you, Harriet. I bite you if I dared. Wasn't our meeting just a stroke of love? I have thought of you so often, Harriet, to come back and find you living in New York. And Mr. Goodrich has many interests here. Flatter oh, no. her. He is so successful. Tell her we're rich. Then won't you sit down? Oh. What a lovely table. Oh, do you like it? Mm. I am afraid. Charles paid an exorbitant price. I don't believe Sorry. it. Must have. How well you are looking, Margaret. <laughs> yes, you are not. There are circles under your eyes. I haven't eaten since breakfast and I'm hungry. How well you are looking, too. <laughs> you have hard lines around your lips. Are you happy? Why don't let her know that I'm well, unhappy. My life is full, happy. Complete. I wonder. Tell her we have a chauffeur. My life is complete too. <sighs> My heart is torn with sorrow. My husband cannot make a living if he does not get an order for a portrait. You he will should come to visit us in the studio. John is doing some excellent portraits. Oh, he cannot even begin to fill his orders. Oh, tell her we have a chauffeur. Do you take lemon with your tea? No, take cream. More no. filling. Cream, if you please. How cozy. Only cakes. Oh, I can eat them all. Sugar? Sugar is nourishing. I Chauffeur. used to drink very sweet coffee while I was in Turkey. and <laughs> uh, I don't believe and you were ever in Turkey. I, we've never been to uh, Turkey, and it's none of your business. Were you in Turkey? Oh, change all about the it. subject. <laughs> you simply must go there. You have such taste in dress. You would enjoy seeing their costumes. Mm. Isn't she going to pass the cake? John painted several portraits there. Mm. Good, good, stop her boasting and tell her we have a chauffeur. Cake? Mm. Oh, at last! Thank mm. you. Mm. Mm. Follow up on the costumes with the suggestion that she would make a good model for John. It is not too early to begin getting what you came for. Oh. What delicious cake. There's your chance for the chauffeur. It is good, isn't it? There are always a great many people buying it at Harper's. Mm. I had to wait in my Range Rover this morning for 15 minutes while my chauffeur got it. <laughs> make her order a portrait. You must have seen the new gowns at Henderson. Oh. Oh. Aren't shop windows alluring these uh, days? Even my chauffeur notices <laughs> them. I know you have a chauffeur. I heard you the first time. I notice gowns now with an artist's eye, as John does. Mm. The one you have on now, my dear, is very paintable. Oh, don't let her know you're anxious to be painted. It's just a little model. Mm. Don't seem too anxious Perhaps. to get the order. It isn't the gown itself, but the way you wear it that pleases the eye. Oh, some people can wear anything with grace. <laughs> yes, I am. You flatter me, my dear. On oh, the contrary, Harriet, I have an intense admiration for you. Oh, I remember how beautiful you were as a girl, in fact. I was quite jealous when John was paying you so much attention. <laughs> she is gloating because I lost John. Those were country days and a childhood full of country town fun. <laughs> oh, she is trying to make you feel like John was only a country boy. Well, most great men do come from the country. Mm. There's a fair chance John will soon be added to that list. Yes, I know it, and I'm bitterly jealous of you for it. Undoubtedly, he owes much of his success to you, oh. Margaret, dear. Get Your her. Get her. efficiency
see in yeah. managing ec economics <laughs> and your ability to endure hardship. Oh, those first days in Paris must have been a struggle. <laughs> she is sneering at your poverty! Well, it was difficult at first. Not the luxurious start a girl has who marries well. Mm. Now you deny you married Charles for his but money. But John and I are so congenial in our tastes that we were impervious to hardship or unhappiness. Are you in love? Is it really true? Did you have all the romance of starving for his art? She is taunting you! Get even with her. Not for long. No, Prince Riel soon discovered John's genius and introduced him royally to wealthy Polynesians who gave him many orders. Oh. Are you telling the truth With or are so you lying? so much opportunity there, you must have had great inducements to come back to the state. <laughs> he did, but not the kind you think. Oh, well, John soon became the rage amongst Americans traveling in France, and they simply insisted upon him coming here. <gasps> Who are you painting here now? What names dare I make up? Just at present, Miss Dorothy Ainsworth of Oregon is posing. You may not know the name, but she's the daughter of a wealthy miner who discovered gold in Alaska. I dare see it say that there are quite a number of Western people who we have never heard of. <laughs> you must have found social life in New York so interesting oh. after the simplicity of our hometown you needn't remind us that we both came from the same Charles's beginning Charles's family just made it such a delight for me they were so well connected flatter oh, her <laughs> i heard said the other day that you had made yourself quite popular someone said that you were very clever who told you that <laughs> nobody <laughs> Confidential should be suspected. <laughs> Respected, I mean. <laughs> they said, too, that you had developed quite a reputation as a critic of art. Oh, I make no pretenses. Are you and Mr. Goodrich interested in the same things, too? <laughs> no! Oh, indeed. <laughs> Charles and I are inseparable. I wonder. Oh, do have some more cake. Oh, my oh, God. Yes. Shouldn't. <laughs> After my big luncheon, John and I dined at the Ritz. Oh, oh and we're invited to the Bedfords for supper. <laughs> they have such a magnificent house <laughs> near the drive. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I really shouldn't. But the cakes are so good. <laughs> Starving! More tea? Mm. Oh, no. Mm. Thank you. Mm. How wonderfully life has arranged itself for you. Well, position. <sighs> A happy marriage. Every opportunity to enjoy all life's pleasures, beauty, uh, art. How happy you must be. Don't you call me happy. I haven't been happy since I lost John. Those years without him. A future without him. No. I back. sometimes away from you. It is away from you. <laughs> Charles and I are as much in love now as when we were married. Mm. To me, he's just the, the most wonderful man in the world. My John is. I love him so much, I would die for him. I'm going through hunger and want to make him great, and he loves me. He worships me. I should like to meet Mr. Goodrich. Bring him to the studio. And John has some sketches to show. Well, not many, because all the portraits have been paint taken by the sitters. Mm. But he gets as much as $4,000 now. Oh, don't pay so that much. As that. Oh, well, it isn't really too much when one considers that John is at the foremost rank of artists today. Mm. A portrait oh. painted by him will double and treble in value. Oh. It's all a lie. He's growing oh. weak with despair. Well, does he paint all day long? <laughs> no, he draws advertisements for oh. bread. When you and your husband come to see us, mm -hmm. telephone first. Yeah, so we can get the advertisements out the way. Mm, otherwise, you might arrive while he has a sitter, and John simply refuses to let me disturb oh. him then. <laughs> you make her ask for the order. Legrand offered to paint me 
For a thousand? Mm. Well, Louis Lagrange's reputation isn't worth more than that. Well, I've heard his work well mentioned. Mm. Yes, he's doing splendid work. Dear me, no. He's praised only by the masses. Oh, he's really accepted not all the artists. Well, Lagrange thought that I would make a good subject. Let her fish for it. Of course you would. Why don't you let Lagrange paint you? She doesn't seem anxious for John to do it. But if he's not accepted by other artists, it would be a waste of time to pose for him, wouldn't it? Yes, I think it would. Give us the order. John is so despondent, he can't endure much longer. Help us. Help me. But us. if he only seem painted too for a eager. thousand, one might consider it. <laughs> if you really wish to be painted, why don't you give a little more and have a portrait really worthwhile? John might be induced to do you for a little below his usual rate, considering that you used to be such good friends. <laughs> That is just so kind of you mm. to suggest, but I, I, I don't know. Oh, I mean, for God's sake, say yes! Oh, of course, I don't know whether John would. Oh, he is so peculiar about these things. Mm. He sets his value on his work when he thinks it beneath him to discuss pride. You mean make us feel small? Well, I might quite delicately mention to him that inasmuch as you have many influential friends, that... You would be quite happy to... To finish what I don't want to say! Help her out. Oh, yes. Introductions would follow the exhibition of my portrait. Be patronizing. No doubt I could introduce your husband to his event. Oh, save! <laughs> For your sake, in telling him of your beauty. Oh. Just as you are seated now would be a lovely pose. No, you we can don't go let now! Her think she's doing you a favor. Oh, it would give me such pleasure to be among the list of John's patronesses. Go <laughs> home! Tell John the good news! I little suspected when I came for a pleasant chat about old times that it would develop into business <laughs> arrangements. Oh. <laughs> Harry, I had no idea you had any intention of being painted. And by Lagrange, too. Well, I came just in time to rescue you. Run home and tell John! Hurry, hurry, hurry! You handled the order nicely. She doesn't suspect that you wanted it. I am not completely satisfied with my portrait, Margaret, dear. I will blame you. I have taken your word on all of John's talent. She doesn't suspect what you came for. Now hurry home and tell John! Brilliant mind. It is you who flatter now, Harry. You don't have to stay so long! One does not flatter when one tells the truth. I really must be going or you will have me completely under your spell. Oh, yes, please do. I have to dress for dinner. Oh, no, don't hurry. Oh, I hate you. I really must, but I hope we shall see each other often at the (gasps) studio. Mm. I find you so stimulating. Mm, I hate you. It is so invigorating to meet someone with a kindred Uh, spirit. uh, I came for your gold. I am going to make you and your husband suffer. Will you give my regards to John? Oh, he's forgotten all about you. He will be so pleased to receive them. I cannot wait to talk to him again. Until I hear word from you. Yes, I will talk to John about it as soon as I can and send you with him. I I love him. He is starving of what your money and influence. I'm going to rob you. I'm going to rob you. Such a joy to see you again. <laughs> Goodbye. <sighs> Goodbye, dear. <sighs> Sam A.T. R.I.M.O.N.Y. That's a high tone name for 
had trouble, you pronounce it with a sigh. What causes all the misery in this land? If you want to find out, ask any married man. And he'll say M-A-T.